Welcome to the announcement of the results of the 8th United Nations World Oceans Day photo competition. First, I would like to thank the co-coordinators, the United Nations Division for Ocean Affairs and Law of the Sea, a passionate team of people at the heart of this day celebrating the oceans. Oceanic Global, doing outstanding work again as a strategic partner and bringing us many interesting panels and speakers. And I Photo Guide, our back office and support for the competition entries. A special thank you for the continued support of Blancpain. This year's World Ocean Day team, Ocean, Life and Livelihood, does capture the essential bond we have with the oceans, whether we realize it or not. Whether we live close to the ocean or in the middle of a city, our lives depend on the health of the oceans. Protecting the green on our planet has to go hand in hand with protecting the blue. Since the oceans produce half of our planet's oxygen, the oceans feed us. They are responsible for millions of jobs, yet we take all that they give for granted. Time for a closer look to just how much we need this giving nature. Time to reflect on how we can make the relationship we have with the blue a balanced one, where we live in harmony and express our appreciation by taking care of her. Images are the perfect tool to connect us with subjects near or far. The ongoing pandemic halted easy travel, but there are silver linings for sure. We have a renewed sense of respect for nature within our reach that allowed us to escape restrictions and granted us that much needed breath of fresh air to keep our sanity. We rely on technology to stay connected, but we rely on nature to keep us grounded. We are water. The images we received this year in the six categories and the winners chosen by the judges have one thing in common. They are beautiful in its simplicity. They are vistas, experiences, encounters grabbed in the moment, which allows us, the viewer, to connect by heart and not through mind. For the second time, we are part of a virtual event, and that allows me to share the stage with some of my panel of talented judges from around the world. Let me introduce them, and let's reveal the winners of the 8th United Nations World Oceans Day photo competition. Announcing the winners of the underwater seascapes from Malaysia, Ipa Ud Lin, a dive instructor, underwater photographer, and a mother of six. She is juggling many talents. Hi, my name is Ipa Huaidi and I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'm a paddling instructor and also an underwater photographer. I'm also one of the judges for the United Nations World Oceans Day 2021. Today, I'll be announcing the underwater seascape category for the winners. The third place goes to Kevin De Vries from Belgium, where his picture was taken in Indonesia, Dampier Straits, well known for its healthy corals. And the second place belongs to Marchione Giacome from Italy, where his picture was taken in the Philippines, Cebu Islands, where it is famous for its sardines. And the grand winner for underwater seascapes belong to Nor Tucker from United Kingdom, where the picture was actually taken in La Paz, Mexico by using natural light. One of my personal favorite pictures during the competition. Congratulations to all the participants and we hope to see you again soon. From Madagascar, Michel Stragoff, a member of the Visa tribe. He's a former shark, turtle and sea cucumber fisherman, converted into an environmental filmmaker photographer, adventurer, explorer, announcing the winners of the Oceanic Discoveries. Thank you so much to all of you who has been participating on the World uh, Ocean Day photo competition. It's a big uh, privilege for me to be one of the, the judge panel. I would like to announce of the winner of the Oceanic Discover category, but I hope that I can pronounce your name correctly. So, the first place is Siranchai Chai from Thailand. The second place is Hannes Holesteren Mann from Germany. And the overwinner of the Ocean 
discovery category is Tom St. George from England. And thank you so much for participating. Let's go to digital ocean photo art. Joachim Odeberg from Sweden. He's a respected conservation photojournalist, producer, underwater filmmaker. His devotion to conservation both on land and at sea shows in his work. As a popular Swedish television host, his programs have taken him far beyond national borders. There you go, Joachim. Hi guys and greetings from Sweden. I hope the sun is shining on you as well. I'm Joachim Odelberg. I'm a conservation film and photojournalist. I'm an Explorer Fellow and a Mission Blue partner. And I want to start to say that I'm very honored to be one of the judges in this prestigious ocean photo competition. And it's been truly a privilege to go through all the contributions and see the oceans from your perspective, through your eyes and through your lens. And to be honest, you made me feel sad. You made me feel a little angry. You made me feel happy. And you made me feel hope for the future. And that's what photography is all about, I think, to stir up emotions. I've also been honored to reveal the, the third place, second place, and the winner in the category Digital Ocean Photo Art. And I'm gonna dive right into it because they just gave me two and a half minutes here. So, number three on third place, we find Renata Romeo from Italy. Congratulations, Renata, well done. And second place, we'll have Brett Stanley from Australia. Well done, Brett, congratulations. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner in the category Digital Ocean Photo Art, the winner is Francesco Paco Sedano from Spain. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you guys. Well done, well deserved. And remember, a healthy living sea is vital to every living organism. On Earth. From the United States, Jennifer Hayes, aquatic biologist, photojournalist, specializing in natural history and ocean environments from the tropics to the polar regions. And one of her subjects very close to my heart too, the phase of climate change, harp seals, harp seal pups in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. She's an award-winning essayist, photographer, author of numerous publications and books on marine environments, recipient of the Presidential Award for Environmental Education. The winners of Faces of the Sea are next. Hi, my name is Jennifer Hayes and I'm here to share with you the category winners of Faces of the Sea. Before I do that, I want to share with you that I feel that anyone that carries a camera into the sea, no matter what that camera is, is helping tell the greatest story on Earth, which is, of course, Earth itself. So thank you. Now, let's get on with the winners of Faces of the Sea. In third place, we have Evans Bowden from the USA with his short fin mako streaming through a sunlit sea. Second place, we have Sam Briggs from the USA. And Sam captured a copepod peering from its home that it constructed of sea lettuce and amphipod silk, and it's the coolest. The winner, the winner of Faces of the Sea is Siaka and Shinoseki from Japan. Siaka found a magic moment, that magic moment, when fish eggs hatch and become fish larvae. They literally, it's a, just that magic moment in the sea, and. That moment was captured perfectly and faces are looking at you so well done. That was literally the next generation ocean happening. So congratulations everyone and happy World Oceans Day. Our fifth judge, Julian Lennon, has always felt that he has observed life differently. Perhaps because his path through life has been so unusual. 
Nothing could be more apparent as he reveals to the viewer his keen eye for composition and his gift for capturing an intimate moment. Julian seeks to depict his personal journey as an artist in the middle of unique life experiences. Unfortunately, Julian cannot join us today as he is in the final stage of another creative process, recording at a secret location. And we wish him all the best and thank him for his hard work and collaboration. Thank you, Julian. But that leaves me announcing the winner in the above water seascapes and ocean life and livelihoods. So there we go. The winners above water seascapes, we have an honorable mention for Matthew Meyer from the USA with his beautiful, sweet image of a California sea lion pup scratching its chin with his flipper. Third place goes to Rafael Fernandez Caballero, an aerial picture of a blue whale taken in Baya, California, Sur, Mexico. Second place, Christoph Mason Parker from the UK. Another aerial view of Paz du Bois in the Seychelles. And the winner is Paul Zygmunt from Poland. This is a hard to capture panoramic. It's taken in very windy conditions in a rugged landscape with its drone. Quite a risk, but amazing results. Well done. Amazing views. Last but not least, winners in Ocean, Life and Livelihoods. We have again an honorable mention for Victor Nunez, Spain. It's a view on the Glaucus Atlanticus, Blue Dragon, is brought into the coast by tides and winds. Third place, Henley Spears, United Kingdom. This scene in the blue in Costa Rica, a fisherman just taking what he needs for his family, living in harmony with the waters and listening to the rhythm of the oceans. Second place, Jacopo Brunetti, sardines chased by a striped marlin, again in Baja California Sur, Mexico. That's a very rich area. The winner is René Capozzola from the USA, a scene with two Indonesian fishermen paddling in a traditional canoe in a shallow reef, looking for a good place to put down their hand lines. Image is taken near Flores in Indonesia. Congratulations, this scene capturing ocean life and livelihood in the best way possible, because we see the close connection of a human necessity depending on an ocean full of life. Congratulations to all participants and all winners. I want to thank all the judges for their availability during these weird times. It was an honor working with you all. And also I want to thank Francois Baye and his team at the Division for Ocean Affairs and Law of the Sea. Your enthusiasm and dedication is inspirational and I thank you for all your trust in me creating this wonderful competition again. Ending this announcement with some wise words from Julian. Empathy is the bond that unites the planet. We are all in this together and hopefully someday the world will realize that. Photography is one way to share, learn, appreciate and experience other cultures, which in turn allows us to empathize with other people's lives. Make every day World Oceans Day and I hope to see you somewhere in the blue very soon.